The way that we speak to others impacts their life. So let me ask you, how do you speak to your kids? How do you speak to your friends? How do you speak to your family? Because the reality is that your family will live up to your blessings or they will live down to your curses. You see, my dad used to say that words are like toothpaste. Once they're out of the tube, there's no going back. Have you ever said something that slipped or you didn't mean to say it and you wanna grab those words and just put them back in your face, but you can't? In fact, in the Old Testament, Isaac, the son of Abraham, has a couple of sons. And I don't have time to fully explain it, but he's got two sons, Jacob and Esau. Esau is the oldest. Jacob is a trickster, is a conniver. And he steals his older brother's blessing. That he tricks his dad because he's sick and he can't see well. And his dad, Isaac, blesses Jacob. And when Esau finds out and he shows up to see his dad, he goes, okay, dad, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Why don't you just take the blessing back from Jacob and give it to me? But the problem is, is that once the words come out of our mouth, they do what words do. And so with that in mind, Paul encourages Timothy, do your best. So let me ask you, when it comes to the words that come out of our mouth, are you doing your best or are you making excuses?